Hi everyone, and welcome to our TRUCI Elite X PPM test. Actually, we're gonna be doing four tests, really three tests and then an observation, if you will. But um, let's focus right now on the first test. And the first test that we're gonna do is actually how most of our clients actually test their systems, which is the wrong way, by the way. But we'll just go through it, walk you through it and show you. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is open up our box. We bought some H2 now from uh, Randy Sharp's companies. Um, great guy, great company, great product. This is a Redox product. And let's do a couple more. Actually, let's just use one. So we're gonna use one test. Everything on camera? We're gonna keep this on camera the entire time. This is going to be a continuous test. So that way there's nobody can, that can say, oh well, you took this off camera or you use something different or whatever the case may be. So keep your eyes on this the entire time. Not the plastic, but this particular test, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test to uh, six ML, all right? I'm gonna have someone bring a flashlight in just so we can test it. And we're gonna get six ML here. So hold on one second. It's kind of hard to see right there, but we'll go like this. All right, and then this, that's obviously too much. So we pour a little bit out. All right, what's that? Uh, too much. And again, this is how most people do the test. That's almost eight. Pour a little bit more. That's about seven. Pour a little bit more out. So drop. Perfect, six, okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up. This is our H2 Blue. We're gonna start putting our drops in. One, two, three, four, five, right? And we'll stir it up a little bit. Again, this is how everybody does it, right? Oh, looks nice. How many, what was that, five? All right, let's go six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's what most people get, right? Most people get like one, like 0 0.8, 1.3. That's 13, that's 1.3, right? Okay, let's go 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's two PPM. Let's see what happens now to this. That's two PPM. Ah, it's struggling. We got to two PPM. Let's see if this truce is telling the truth or not. Two, three, four, excuse me. Two, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19, 2
So if we would have done the test the right way, we would have got a lot higher concentration. So now let's do it the right way. First thing we're gonna do is dump one. Get rid of that. A Little bit more. Now let's test it the right way. Boom, exactly six PPM. Now watch how we do the drops very quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. That's 3 ppm. 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, 3.5, 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, 4. Let's keep going. 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, 4.4, 4.5. Okay, that's 4.5 ppm. Give it a little swirl. That clears. That's 4.5. Same exact test. 4.5, 4.6, 4.7, 4.8, 4.9, 5 ppm, 5.1, 5.2, 5.3, 5.4, 5.5. Let's stop right there. That's 5.5 ppm. Is that going to clear? Yep. 5.5, 5.6, 5.7, 5.8, 5.9, 6.1, 6.2, 6.3, 6.4, 6.5, 6 6.6. I don't know if that's gonna clear, that's 6.6. .6. Okay, so that didn't clear, but that was probably right around 6.2 PPM, okay? Now, do you see the difference? This one over here, we tested it how most people test it, and what did it come out to? What was it, 2.2? This came out to about 6.2. Same exact water, same exact machine, and a hell of a lot more drops. Why? Because we did it quicker. We didn't stir it and then put two more drops and stir it and put two more drops. We didn't test it and pour a little bit out and check it again. We got our six ML, we dropped them in real quick and boom, we're done. So now let's get another beaker here. We got it right here. Is this it? This is the beaker um, at 9.5? should be 9.5. Okay, so this is our third test. Now let me show you what we're gonna do here. Okay. When you actually test the water, you notice there's a lot of bubbles. That's hydrogen gas, right? When you drink that, that goes into your body, gets into your cells, just like if you're breathing it, right? And you're drinking it. So what we're gonna show you here is, we're gonna take, what were we at, 6.2? Let's do, let's do 70 drops. That's seven ppm. Same exact H2 blue. We're gonna do 70 drops into it. So whether you put the water first or the drops first, it's the same thing. They both mix together, right? But if you put the drops first, you're gonna be able to really quickly see how much true hydrogen gas is actually infused into the water, right? You're not wasting any time. So we're gonna put, uh, again, 70 drops, that's 3.5 ml. Then you add six ml of water brings it to 9.5 ml. That's exactly where this line is, 9.5, okay? So let's count together. If you can't see this good, somebody throw a flashlight on it. Okay, let's do 70, ready? Come over here, right in back of me. Is that good? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, move it a little bit. The glare is bad, I can't see. That's good, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Randy must love our company because you got to use so much to test our product. That's how many is that? 21. 20, okay, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 
51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, oh, hold on, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Okay, that's 7 ppm right here if this clears, okay? Shine the light again. Let's not make any mistakes. Okay, remember, hold on. Let's pour it out. Take one of them out. Okay, pour that out. One more, just to be safe. Now we're gonna get exactly 9.5 ppm. Boom, exactly, clear. Okay, so that's 9.5, let's keep going. Oh no, hold on, is that, that seven. That's, that's seven. I'm sorry, that's seven. Seven, 7.1, 7 7.2, 7 7.3, 7 7.4, 7 7.5, 7 7.6, 7 7.7, 7 7.8, 7 7.9, 8, uh, it's gonna be close, but let's see. 8 ppm, that clears. Let's keep going. 8.1, 8.2, 8.3, 8.4, 8.5, 8.6, 8.7, 8.8, 8.9, See if that clears. Okay, barely, we're getting close to the end. 8.5, 8.6, 8.7, 8.8, That's nine PPM. By the way, the highest that we've ever got was 10.5. What was that? That was 9.5? Yes. Yep. 9.5. Uh, no, no, it was nine. Well, that was nine? Yeah. So, I think it was 9.5. Well, wow. anyway, it was either nine or nine point five. You can look at the video and figure it out. But it'll it probably you can move that light now. It probably would have cleared right around two or three drops before this. So it's anywhere between let's say eight point seven and nine point three is where this um, ended up. Okay, so same exact test, same exact bottle of H two blue, same exact system. Non-stop video, so there's no questions whatsoever. We got in our first test, remember how we did it? Boom, poured it out, take our time, spinning it, we got 2.2. Our second test, traditional way of doing it, um, putting the water first very quickly, we got around six ppm. Then, we put our drops first, we got around, uh, any probably close to nine, right? Maybe a little bit under, a little bit over nine. Same exact test, but done differently. That's the reason why it's so important to test our systems the right way. But one more thing I wanna show you, grab that light. Okay, I want you to count with me. Actually come, yeah, there you go. You tell me if you can see this, all right? All right, here's what we're gonna do. Let's count on how long it takes. Oops, sorry about that. I actually closed our system. Let's count how long it takes for the, the nanobubbles inside of this glass to dissipate, okay? Keep an eye on the bubbles, let's all count together. We fill it up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 seconds and almost all the bubbles are gone. If you see in bubbles around the glass that are stuck to it, that's cool. But all the bubbles that are actually inside of this water are gone. So what does that tell you? Are those bubbles just air? No, that's hydrogen. So what do you want to do? You wanna drink it as quickly as possible. The perfect way to drink it is actually about four ounces, two big gulps at a time. So, just about this much and drink it. Boom, 30 minutes. The moment it comes out, it should go to your mouth, down the hatch. That's how you're getting a lot higher concentration. And let me be very blunt with you. The highest concentration that we got today is was nine, right? Right around nine. When you drink this coming right out of the system, 
you're getting a lot higher than 9 ppm. You're probably getting closer to 11, 12, 13 ppm because the bubbles are so high, right? Maybe not that much, maybe like 10, the highest we ever got was 10.5, right? Yeah. So that's the highest we've ever got. We can always get a 9 ppm, but we lowered our expectations because people were testing it wrong. Um, but as you can tell, the way you test it is crucial, okay? So that's it. Is there anything else I'm missing? So. Test and drink immediately because this H2 gas is there for you to help you. Um, we hope you enjoyed our test. As you can see, no funny business. Now the myth has been busted. Have a great night.